hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel please do and do not turn on your notifications as I'm sharing great contents every day for you okay previous lesson we finalized constructor at least I thought I finalized but I forget to mention about one section let's have a look if you remember we have a certain constructor here but I forget to show you how to create a static construction and what it is so it's a really good chance to perform our git skills let's close this one so let's switch to the main we are in main now so i'm going to reset this commit in main branch let's right click on class lessons I'm going to bring my main branch to the class lesson again click the reset click delete the changes once I click the yes constructor lessons from main branch will be done let's click yes as you can see constructor lesson is gone so let's switch to the development again we are in development now let's have a look we have here construction again so if you would like to see both of them click the i section in your git branch and you will able to see both branch commitments together so we reset our main branch and i'm going to amend latest commitments once i've finished what i've done so we um really get a good chance to use reset and amend i'm going to use amend in let's close this one where is my solution let's open a git changes yep i'm going to use amend as well let me finish my study constructor first and i'm going to going to amend the latest comments and we will continue where we left exactly okay let me do quickly let's type here public static example and let's assign so there is no there is no public it's just gonna be static let's console right line i am coming from static constructor okay what is static constructions guy as you can see we created our test uh, class test2 class copy of test2 let's create one more a couple of time example um, example new All right let's create a couple of more example 2 example 3 example 4 right so i'm going to make commitment this all of them because i'm not going to use anymore and all right let's add these all of them is has default parameter i'm going to add out perfect so we are going to see now which class send us static constructor message and which one is send us default constructor message all right this is all right let's set up constructor project and let's build now 
once I run the project, I will show you. Okay. Let's have a look now, guys. Okay, as you can see, the first one coming from static and the rest of them is coming from the default constructor. What does that mean? Static constructor means if it's defined in a class as a static, it means the first created reference is going to use the static, the rest of them skip the static and use default and the other ones. All right, perfect. Hopefully you understand. If you would like to use your class just one time and you should use the static example. For the future, we're going to use this um, static class features in singletons. But now all you need to know is if you have a static constructor in a class, it is going to be just one time. All right, perfect. I'm going to finish this constructor right now. And let me do the comments now, commits now. I'm going to click amend. We are in development still. This, this is constructor lessons. And I'm going to commit now. Let's go to git branch. As you can see, we don't have any new branch. It's just updated. Perfect. Let's switch to the main now. Right click on dev. Merge dev into main. There is no conflict. Our both branch is up to date now. Perfect. Sometimes making some mistakes. Um, it gives us a chance to measure our knowledge. Okay. Now I'm going to continue with the static class, static properties and static methods. All right. Let's close this section. Should I create a new solution? Yes, create new project. Now solution, new project. Console application. We are in main. So let's switch to the development. Right click, add new project, console application, console application, next. YouTube, C, C sharp. Static, class, method, property. Next, next. Perfect. Let's delete here. Static class method properties. Property. Yeah. Normally, once we created a class, how we create a reference of um, def um, a created class? Okay, let's define one and see with the example class example oops sorry so let's type avoid method I am a method perfect let's make it public so, what, what are we supposed to do to reach this class and method? So, we need to make a, create a reference of our class, right? And we able to reach our method and we can use it. Perfect. Everything is um we know and i taught you previously our lesson now what if if i use a static keyword all right i'm gonna delete those two actually not delete i'm gonna make them command to keep you for future i'm gonna 
make it static. Once I use the static keyword, we got an error. Let's see the error message. Method cannot declare instance member in a static class. So what we're supposed to do? We're going to make this method static as well. So what, what is that for? How are we going to use this static class? Once you use a static keyword, you don't need to use any more new created new object. Because normally this action creating an object and assigning a reference creating a class process is a little bit tricky. Um, once you created an example class like this one, it's going to be a shared common class. So you don't need to create another reference for it. You just go to place and use the, use the method. All you need to do is type name of the class dot and reach the method and use it. That's all. Let's set start a project. You can consider the static classes as a common, as a shared class. It's reachable from everywhere with from with everyone. Alright. As you can see, I'm a method. Perfect. So this is static class and this is static method. What is static property? Let's try to type a property here. Prop. Let's make it string. Name. So we got an error again. Let's have let's see what is it what is it? What is this? So you cannot declare instance member in a static class. The same error message what we got from our method before what we add static keyword. So we need to add static here again. So we now we able to reach example dot name test right. Now type example.name. Now see the result. As you can see, the name is test. Perfect, it's working. This is how we use in static um, class method and property. All right, I'm going to commit my project now. But before that, let's see, it's 13 minutes. So okay, affordable time. Let's commit our changes static class method property let's commit all and let's open our branch switch to the main right click on dev merge into the main no conflict merge perfect it's done all right guys thank you for watching my video if you crash the like button i will be appreciated it really motivates me to create new contents and if you have any questions don't forget drop the comment below the video take care of yourself bye bye mm -hmm.